Ruth here, and I bought this at uh, Tesco's today. I thought, you know, it was only uh, 10 pounds, and I do like quiz things. So this is the uh, Harry Potter version of Trivial Pursuit. So I thought that was pretty cool. So it's got 600 questions about the world about the world of Harry Potter films. So like this Trivial Pursuit bite size edition contains 600 questions based on the Harry Potter films, some of which would challenge even the smartest of wizards. The handy game requires no board and can be carried out carried around in its bite-sized wedge case. As you know wedge or slice or whatever. <clears throat> Test your trivia with the following topics. The Dark Arts, Hogwarts, Magic Spells and Potions, Magical Objects, Magical People, Animals and Magical Creatures. So I thought I'd like, just do like a little, is that like a review-ish type of a video here to show you what's inside and whatnot. So this should be Secondly, I don't know what's inside either, so let's find out together. I'll just put the and of course it's got ties on the back. That's different. Okay. And Why is it hard taking it out? Okay. Huh? <laughs> little mini dome. Anyway. Some random... Okay. Just put it in the box for now. And here... is just a tie. Uh, I don't think we need scissors for this. I need both my hands. So this is more of a string tie than an actual of those wire twisty ties. Um, we'll see if it comes out here. Ah, yeah. So it does. It comes out connected to the top. Okay. Alright, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Close up. Okay, so well then, I guess I could keep that in there to, uh, so the cards won't keep moving about. Oh anyway, yeah, there's from the looks of it, the colors of the question. So uh Let's see. Here is the uh, object of the game. To be the first player to collect six cards. Okay, that seems simple enough. How to play. Remove the packaging from the cards <laughs> and discard and re or recycle waste. Place the cards in the holder with the question and the side facing forward. Choose a player to go first. Then play Play then continues clockwise. On your turn, well, let's just open this first. If I can open it. Is that easy question? Open! Okay, never mind. We'll just do it the old fashioned way. From the top. Ta -da. Of course, they put the little thing there. We're supposed to peel it that way, but I couldn't get at it. So, nix that. So, get questions on one side. 
and the answer's on the other. So like, I'm guessing this is where the questions go like that. You know, you just place it like that. Hmm. Um, so let's continue with the rules here. On your turn, roll the die to decide a category color. Another player takes the front card and reads the question from the, that category. If you answer correctly, the card goes to the back of the deck. Roll the die again, go to for a wedge question this time. And if you answer the question correctly, keep the card in front of you. To win another card, you must correctly answer a question on a new card then correctly answer the wedge question on the next card. Keep going until you get an answer wrong. This ends your turn. Hmm. Winning the game. The first person to collect six cards correctly answer 12 questions. Wins the game. If a player collects six cards on his or her very first turn, the winning players may try to equal this feat and force the game to end in a draw. Different players in your family have different levels of detail in their knowledge of the world of HP. Use your discretion when answering questions as to how much detail is needed to be considered correct. Speed game. For a quicker game, you win a card every time you answer a question correctly. You can also add cards to a standard boxed version of Trivial Pursuit and play the classic board game. Okay. And here are the question categories. So you got purple for dark arts, blue for Hogwarts, like a pinky kind of magenta-like color for magical spells and potions, orange for magical objects, yellow for magical people, and green for animals and magical creatures. Age 8+, plus, 2 plus players, contents, 100 question cards, card holder, and true suit die. What is this thing? Oh, is this for like the, those color thingies that you get in the normal Trivial Pursuit? I think you put them in each one to signify that you, you've got one. Because I think the original Trivial Pursuit, you have to get your pie filled in. Like, I think so anyway. I, haven't, I can't quite remember. So anyway, let's, let's do a random question then. Let's do it properly now. Let's do it on a flat thing. Okay, we got blue. So we got a Hogwarts question. Who discovered Harry after he's been attacked by Draco Malfoy on the Hogwarts Express? No. Does anybody know? The answer is... We're gonna love good. Then let's see. I'm guessing then there are I guess when we say a wedge question it just means another turn of the dice or something. Because there isn't actually specifically it says orange question on it. So let's do some random ones. Okay, so, uh. We'll say that's purple. Okay, this is a dark arts question. During his conversation with Tom Riddle about making horcruxes, what number horrifies Professor Slughorn? Does anybody know? The answer is... Seven, I think. Yeah. Seven. And let's... Do one more question, then we'll end the video. Oh, we did blue already. Oh, green, okay. We got a creature question. 
What type of creature does Hagrid introduce to his students during his first class? I know this one. That to you? And the answer is... Hippogriff. Okay, so that is everything. I'll just put this in here to keep the cards all straight. And let's look at that there. Put that there. Shove this in the front for the directions and whatnot. And yeah, that that is this. So that was pretty cool. I'll have to find something to play it with. <clears throat> or we can, I don't know. I'll think of something. Oh yeah, so that'll be a good collection to my Harry Potter stuff. So that is it. So thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more. Over and out.